Can you hear that? Can you hear the damage that's going on on the old crusty Tahoe? Listen to this. Just give it a second and listen. Silent. Silent as a baby sleeping. So every time the wind blows, we have acorn trees, acorn trees all around this house. There it is. It is insane at the amount of acorns that's falling right now. But, oh my gosh, what hit me in the arm. Woo! So uh, this video ain't about acorns and acorn trees, but uh, we got some Monster Motos. Uh, talked to the president of Monster Moto. We uh, did some did some wheeling and dealing, and he sent us two of the Monster Moto 212. So we're going to make one street legal, one like a dirt bike build like Lonnie's bike. We're going to build a rear swing arm for it and all that jazz. So the semi is almost here to drop that puppy off, both of them. Uh, so we're going to go get them off the semi, and we're going to take them out of the box and go rip on them. Pretty excited because I've never ridden one. I said I'm one at Go Power Sports, but I've not, I've only seen that one in person. So uh, let's try not to get knocked out by acorns and go down and get it. I can hear him now. That's him. That's the semi. Woo! Start. Unfinished project. So we're gonna unbox these and maybe take them out for a rip. Are you ready? Oh, mine's just another box. Another box within a box within a box. Really attached to the truck. This this is the truck. You gotta just put the handlebars on. And this. So this is really, there's really no unboxing to this. You put the handlebars on. We have a engine already ready to go for one of these bikes. And it is the same engine that the uh, DTV Shredder has on it. So that's going to be pretty sweet. Has full charging system, CDI, electronic carb. It's a pretty advanced little engine. Got a full oil filtration and cooling system on it. So this, one of these will be a street legal bike for Whoever's over, Lonnie, whoever. Well, so basically just put two 14 millimeter nuts on and she ready to rip snort. So Monster Moto is also releasing a new bike, I think this year, that is a more affordable option that doesn't have uh, the suspension, but it's got a 212. I like that little headlight guard. Makes it look tough. Their headlight's pretty nice too. It's got a Nice little housing around it. You know, just a all around pretty good little vehicle. Their gas cap is easily accessible. That's a lot of mini bikes problems. They put the gas cap in a, a bad spot. This one seems like it'll be pretty easy to put some fuel, some petrol in. Oh, title. That's, oh. A, that's a big thing. It came with a title because uh, when we go to register it, some mini bikes don't come with titles, and it um, basically they have to get you a title. It's a lot easier if they have a title already, so that's going to be nice. Row, row, row your boat. How's it feel? This is really comfortable. It's got a big seat on it. It does. Uh, they was actually pretty smart. They put a voltage regulator. A lot of these bikes don't have voltage voltage regulators, which means it basically. You're gonna get that pulse and headlight and stuff. This one, you're basically ready to throw a battery on it and not have to worry about overcharging your battery. That's pretty awesome. I've never seen another mini bike with that. Kudos, Monster Moto. It's comfortable though. And I like that the foot pegs are under you like a, like a joint bike. I mean, it's a little weird. A little high knees.
What do you boys, well, Lonnie, what do you think of the Monster Moto 212? I think uh, it's up there with the, uh, what you call it? Trailmaster? Trailmaster. It's just not as fast. But for this type of stuff, it's all you need. Oh, We're it's a blast out here just going over tree logs. And even though it doesn't have a rear swing arm, I'm super comfortable hitting bumps on it. Yeah. I don't know what the tires, they could probably be deflated even more. But the only bad thing about tires being deflated is it wants to grab on the logs and stuff and run you down them. And it makes it super bouncy. Like oh, the, yeah. the recoil. Yeah, and this is a, they're super comfortable little mini box. I didn't this think. This seat's nice. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. It I didn't think. so much butt area. And the pegs being under you, I feel like you yeah. have more control. Yeah. Uh, the only downside to the Coleman, any Coleman bike with the suspension is it, have you had any nose dives? push your front end down no i kind of like stand up well I'm my down. weight is my the problem on that bike well even with me though it does that yeah but it's I just where you're so pounds. on top of the front tire it like you wedge yeah, yeah you wedge towards the front i weigh 120 pounds i tell you out of the box the monster motos are are the second best mini bike that we've tried so far i've never used the front brakes yet me neither uh, i think it would be handy going down a super steep hill when your back brakes get hot you just have that extra braking power but overall you know i think rear brakes is all you really need it's just nice to have that second you know security of uh the front brakes they the, they perform really well though i've never seen where i really uh, of course we want more power but where we had to have more power yeah oh and the torque converter going up hills it pulls it fine oh yeah like even though uh, torque converters are good for any weight i'm 240 pounds in these bikes uh, i had to stop on a pretty good incline I think Braxton to kick sideways or hit a log or something. So I was worried about burning the belt, taking off on the hill, which it could have burned it. I mean, you could smell the heat on the torque converter, but it pulled that hill with me perfectly fine. Do you think I can make it up this bank? Oh, yes. Uh, I don't know, but you're going to try it. Yes, I am. All right, so Lonnie's going to take her up this uh, little banker yeah, bank. i got to go back. over there and see the best path first, so I'm not going to hit it right away. I'm going to move this, though, so I don't have to lose it. You mean right through here? Yeah. Yeah, That's so. way too steep. It wouldn't make it up that. So today on Braxton's Family Values, we learn that Greg Davis trimmed his beard. We did. Really. He did.
Yeah, that was sweet right there. I can tell that this, thing. This thing does not like going up hills. Well, the box? Me, the, uh, the clutch was given out. I think it's built. And then all of a sudden it drives you, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think so. I knew. I knew going over it. I was like, I probably should hit it as quick as possible. <laughs> hey, I would have, but this thing taps out so quickly you're pulling from me. Oh, yeah. Haha, <laughs> loser, you're last. Have respect for other people's property. So guys, I hope you liked today's video. We wanted to do this one a little bit different and just go jump right on them and go ride. Um, the Monster Motos actually was one, the second most comfortable bike we've tested. So the Trailmaster still uh, crowned at the top and then the Monster Moto 212 is definitely in second. The way it rides, it, it almost, you forget that you don't have that rear suspension. We didn't have the tires deflated uh, hardly at all on these bikes we had a blast the only problem with the coleman our, our biggest problem with it you set up so high it wants to shove your weight into the forks which in return when you're curving you know going around turns and stuff it wants to collapse the front forks really bad with me and lonnie it does that so uh, it almost is a little bit dangerous going around corners on the coleman where we did not get that on the monster moto because you're sitting so low on that frame but we love these bikes we can't wait to start the build one of them is going to be a off-road build going to build a rear swing arm for it and extend it just a little bit longer and then the other one's going to be a street legal build so me and Lonnie will both have a different uh, dirt bike style build and a different street legal build so uh, let me know what you think of the monster moto in the comment section below make sure to check out the links uh, to these bikes we got an amazon affiliate link and they do help us out if you was to buy one helps the channel continue to grow and uh, always check out go power sports and use that discount code redbeard uh, we'll be putting a lot of go power sports parts on these bikes so stay tuned we're gonna make these things pretty awesome and uh, let us know what you think about the ride i didn't do no fancy editing no music just us having a good time we had a blast we actually filmed this yesterday on sunday and uh it was a good time a uh, good time with the boys riding mini bikes but we love you guys and god bless Redbeard's Garage is powered by GoPowerSports.com. GoPowerSports has a huge amount of awesome go-kart and mini bike parts. And when making your purchase, use the Redbeard discount code in the upper right-hand corner of your shopping cart to grab yourself a sweet deal. Hit that subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is on so you'll never miss another episode. And go check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest to stay up to date with the channel. Guys, always come back to Redbeard's Garage. I'm out.